Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, they came and picked up the 720. Um, and remember it had a bit of a heating problem, so they came and picked up that tractor and they dropped off this as a replacement. It's the new 942 Gen 6. Um, not sure what we're gonna put it on yet. It's rocking some 750s, 44s. I do believe they're 46 on the 1050. Full lines the dealer. Cat 4. Six outlets. One three quarter. Two three quarter. Two three quarters. Four half. I like that they changed this. Made it clear with LED. Oh, and they put a little light bar up there right above the license plate. I like that. Dual ready. Hmm. This is a little different. On the 1050 they have a split here and actually the def tank is completely separate. Obviously they're still separate but they kind of molded them together. Front PTO. Hydraulics. Hookup. 1800 kg weight, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yada yada yada. <laughs> you like the chrome stack? Also, I should note that this is the first video with the new Note 20, the new Samsung Note 20 Ultra, 512 gig. So, hopefully, the audio and uh, video quality is good. This phone is capable of doing 8K video. It is not turned on because, unless you're 8K supported, well, it's really not going to do anything other than take about 48 hours to upload a video on my end so there's no sense for me doing that yet let's go take it for a drive all right got the leather seat so this is just the 1050 cap with a lot more sound and sound options but it's still the 1050 cap and I'm a big fan of the 1050 cap because on the other 930s, not that this is a 930, but on that size of cab, the park brake was always down here, and the cab was a little more dated, and I just didn't like it as much. So, let's go take it for, let's start it up. Hold on here. I do not have a, I don't have an otter box on this phone yet, so I have to be very careful with what I'm doing. So, uh, I guess I should push the clutch. All of 26.6 hours. I don't know about you guys, but I think we should probably put some hours on this thing. Okay, I should note that I have actually, I don't think I've ever sat in the new uh, Gen 6, so I see that we have some cool new features here. I'm gonna have to kind of play around with that. But I should also note that I won't be the one driving it. Why? Because I sit in a combine, not a grain cart. As much as I really enjoy grain carting, because it's very active and it really suits my personality, um, they put me in a combine. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's rock and roll this boat. Park brake is off, we're going. We'll keep it in TMS. TMS feature is on. We're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go hook it up to something that's, I don't know, gonna make it work a little bit. You guys know me, come on. I'm not the type of guy to take a 420 horsepower tractor and hook it up to something that's capable for 300. I'm going to hook it up to something that's going to make it work. Hit the cruise. Oh, I guess I should actually hit the C2. Oh, apparently I have dr trouble driving here. Man, am I drunk or what? Holy cow, man. Keep it on the road. <laughs> there we go. We got a bounce, she's been sitting a while. Oh, there we go. 
All right, guys. We got a little ways to go to get to where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna really enjoy my drive. We got our front camera. I think they got too much air in these tires. It's kind of bouncy. when I get there. So I guess I went to go and adjust my mirrors because I'm like, I can't see out those mirrors. They're obviously not adjusted correctly for me. So I just go flip this puppy in there and I'm like, holy crap, my mirror adjust is gone. So I'm like, okay. So then I look down here and then there's a button. You hit that and it loads up all your mirror stuff right there. Oh, also, no dial in radio. Nope, you wanna know what that is? Auxiliary cord and USB, whatnot, blah, 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 blah. Everything is on here. Your volume is all on here. And so, yeah. That take gonna take a little bit of getting used to because every time I go to turn up my volume, I always reach my hand up here. But you know what? Sometimes new is okay. If you're asking yourself right now, Mike, are you putting it on that little green cart and you're gonna repl replace that 930 with duels? My answer to you would be no. Mike, are you going to put it on that really big grain cart and take that 560RT off? My answer would be yes. So this is the new and upgraded model from this one. Just a little bit more horsepower, that's all. But the front end looks like the 1050 on this one. Yeah, that's what we're going to replace it with. Oh baby, oh baby. Alright guys, so uh, <laughs> we still have quite a bit of grain in this cart. And this little jack doesn't want to push it up. No, it's actually not sinking in the ground. I'm actually pushing it back, trying to help ride the jack up. And by doing so, I'm actually lifting up the hitch. Uh, but the problem is with the fence, the hydraulics are a lot farther away than, say, the RT is. And we barely have enough hydraulic hoses to actually reach. And that's as high as I can get that jack. I've already kicked the front end air up, so you can actually air the front end up. By doing so, you're lowering this hitch. If you notice, these hydraulics are actually tipped back. Um, so now we're trying to give it a little bit more assistance with the, with the three-point hitch to help it lift a bit. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There it is. Come on, there it is. <laughs> I love three-point hitches. Hey guys, I had a small freak out for a second. I was like, okay, I got it all here. I'm like, well, where the crap is my pin? Are you kidding me right now? And then I was like, oh, this thing's got a pretty fancy looking little toolbox, this little door here. Look at, I've never run one of these, all right? This is first time. And it opens up into this folding operation. I don't know about it, but anyway, here's my, that doesn't look like a very big pin. Must be it though. No. No. Okay, guys. What else do we got in here? We got bushing, stuff like oh we got keys. Anything in this fancy toolbox? Okay, I gotta let you go. There it is. Up in that toolbox, I found the big boy pin. This is a Cat 4 one. That must be Cat 3. All right. How does this thing stay up here? My, uh, ow, gosh, ow. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, I got it hooked up. So, unless I just don't know how to run this goofy thing, nothing that seems like it holds it back. No little clip or something, I don't know. You see anything under there? No, I don't think so. So, that's awesome to hold the pin from keeping it coming out. Makes hooking up not fun. Just saying. All right, PTO is on. Let's use our hydraulics here and drop it down.
Didn't even sink it down that much. That tells me I gotta get some air out of those tires. Because that's gonna be far too rough to ride. Let's hook up the rest of our stuff and get rocking. All right, so now we got our joystick in here. This actually runs the uh, auger there on that grain curve. And then you have to power it up. But we got these uh, power plugs. Now, typically Full Line always wires in a block here where you can actually put your regular power plugs, North American style. But I guess this tractor's too new, they didn't have time to do that. So, well, looks like Monday morning I'll come out with an adapter because I have them for my 1050. You can plug them in here and then they just have a tail. Plug in your North American ones, so that way we got power. So here's some cool things. I was playing around in here. So your radio and everything is in here, right? So uh, we can pull this, pull this up. Okay, you can hook up your phone. Hi Jan, hi Austin. Apparently they were here first. Um, I already got my phone up. That's right, that's not actually the one I'm recording with. I'm running two phones right now. Can you believe such a thing? But you can also hit this button down here, which is your mirrors, hit that. And it pulls this up on your screen. So this is your left mirror, your right mirror. And then this would be, so the green means it's moving that top piece. Hit this one, it's moving that bottom piece. So top, bottom, right? So let's try and move the top one. These are the arrows. I'm gonna try and move it to the right here a little bit, see if it moves. Maybe it's all the way out. Oh yeah, so it's going out that way. I see. But watch this feature. You also have this. You can move them. I'm going to hit this. Watch this. Check that out. That's pretty cool, right? Bring it back in. Just have to hold it. Look at all these goofy little features we got. I don't even know what I'm doing. But you guys know me. I hop in something and we learn together. All right. I should also note that uh, unlike its its uh, younger brother over there, because this is the new predecessor, right? That's the nine, this is a nine, this is gen six. Yeah, okay, we got it. On those ones, you have a gear shifter, right? You have to shift gears one and two. You don't have to do that anymore. This is like the 1050, it's all one gear. Pretty nice. Also, uh, the park brake, removes and comes on automatically just like the 1050 pretty nice I like that as well mmm I like that Let's go outside here check, check this puppy out looks pretty awesome so why are we taking the 560 off well actually to be honest with you it's been throwing up some codes we've actually had some trouble with it I think we have to get a mechanic down um, it will actually, while you're unloading, it will just shut the PTO off. And that's not a very fun thing to do when you're unloading at ram. Oh, I gotta put my toolbox back when you're unloading at ramming speed, all right? Because then you have risk of plugging it. Not fun. So, uh, I think we have to get a mechanic down to do a little bit of work on this thing. Also, while we're driving their two track, this is the roughest thing you'll ever drive in your life. Um, it's getting shook because the cab just goes like this all the time because it's kind of rough out here. It's 12 inch rows and it's hard and it's dry. You guys saw the cracks in our fields and all of a sudden his windshield wiper will start coming on, his lights will come on and then they'll go off and like a lot of weird funky stuff is happening you guys, all right? So I think we're gonna have to get somebody out and take a little peeky boo. And then we have this bad boy. And you guys know me. I don't mess around. I, I would put that tractor on it if I didn't already have a green card for that tractor. So yeah, obviously it'd be better with dual. A little bit more stable when you're coming around the corners, but to be honest you guys, um, we don't grain cart fast. The top speed you'll ever see any of our carts going, or better be going, for you drivers out there who are watching this. Um, it better not be going over like 12 or 14 miles an hour. That's top speed. Because we don't want to abuse the cart, and we don't want to abuse the tractor. I like to pull them, I like to work them, but I do not abuse them. So let's shut this thing off. All right, you guys, also I should note that uh, this thing is 
all wheel drive all the time. There's no like, you hit the switch for a four wheel drive. Unlike the 930, or the previous gen I should say. Well that's it you guys. That's it. So this is a 2000 bushel cart. It's gonna let a little air out of these tires. Get a little squat on that because there's already some grain in there. So I want to see some squat. Cool. All right. Let's rock and roll. One last thing. Uh, what do you guys think about the video? So I do have this uh, stabilizer I can I can actually turn on and take a little bit of that out of it for when I'm moving. You know what I mean? But then I can't shoot as high of quality though either. So you guys tell me. You guys tell me. And also, how is the audio on this side? It's never as good on this side, I get it. I know, I know. But that's how it is. Later Gators. Who knows, maybe it actually is as good. Because on my Google phone, uh, when I rotated the camera around, when I rotated the camera around, there was a big difference. You guys kept saying, hey Mike, your your hand's covering the mic or whatnot. But that actually isn't true. It's just on the Google phone. It doesn't have the mic is actually on the other side. So I'll be curious to know how it is on this phone. Let me know guys. Please don't hurt my feelings because it was a very expensive phone and I really needed it because I could only do 20 minutes at a time with my previous phone. Now I have 512 internal gigs with a one terabyte uh, external storage as well. So Kind of excited for you.